The latest UNICEF report on child well-being in the developed world found that Italy ranks 22nd among 29 nations. Child well-being is measured by the United Nations Children Fund using five main parameters – material well-being, health and safety, education, behaviours and risks, and the housing and environment. Italy, the Eurozone's third largest economy, ranks in the lowest third of nations trailing behind countries like Spain, Hungary and Poland. In Italy, 17% of children live under the line of poverty. Almost 1.8 million of kids don't have regular access to food and other basic necessities. The UNICEF report highlighted that almost 20% of children aged 0 to 17 in Italy are living in households with equivalent incomes below 50% of national average. Child health and safety is another issue of national concern, according to the report. The country also ranks 24th in terms of academic results of its minors. The educational system of Italy that is, uh, um, is good at, from the point of view of, a, of the access to the education system compared to other countries in uh, other rich countries, but uh, is uh, worsening in, uh, in terms of quality. Italy allocates only about 4% of its total social expenditures on social services for children, among the lowest percentages in the European Union. Furthermore, the outgoing interim government led by technocrat Mario Monti has also chosen to tighten up the country's budget. However, childhood poverty was a problem in Italy long before the current economic crisis. My experience as a mom who has a child in a public school is very complicated. It is unacceptable that our government keeps slashing resources, while Italy is a signatory to the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. As Italy struggles through a seemingly endless economic crisis, there is no sign that the socio-economic situation will improve anytime soon. Instead, a growing number of Italian families with infants and children are joining the ranks of the extreme poor. Max Civili, Press TV, Rome.